About eight months ago at the height of, where the hell is Kyrie gonna sign? We made a video saying, these kind of feel like Kyrie's. It featured two shoes from the Way of Wade brand, a possible place for him to land. Obviously that didn't happen, but the second version of the All City 11 still feels like a beefed up Kyrie. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad boys right here. This is the Way of Wade All City 11 V2. I do not love that there are V2s of things when the V1 is almost the same. They may have changed like a material here or there, but the overall performance package is very much the same. But does that mean that the shoe is bad? Of course not. What they actually offer inside the shoe is honestly awesome, especially for their retail price, which is 150 bucks. I do know that that sounds expensive for a brand that you might not be familiar with. For some reason, anytime like Nike, like releases something and it's 150, everybody's like, cool. But if anybody else does it, you know what I mean? Everybody got a problem. So if if you were going to actually compare this shoe to a $150 Nike shoe, what you're going to receive in these is far greater than anything that you will over at the swoosh. Oh. The outsole right here is aggressive to say the least. It's just herringbone. It's very simple, but it works. On top of that, they're using what they're calling Tough RB for tough rubber. So yes, this is going to be a viable option both indoor and outdoor. You know, one of my favorite things is it has nothing to do with performance, but it's, they have right here on the rubber on the outsole, they have engraved or, or carved into it, wayofway.com. I've never seen that before. Not saying it's good or bad, I'm not knocking on them. I'm just saying I've never seen Nike.com or Jordan.com or uh, Anta.com. I've never seen nothing like that. I just thought it was hella funny. Someone's got to start it. Who's going to see that? Whoever you're jumping over <laughs> will see I don't it know. flash I don't... across their face. <laughs> I think they're too busy having the sweat from your balls wiped across your face. So yeah, like it's just weird to see that on there. I think it's hilarious. But yeah, I just thought it was funny. It's just a weird thing. Now, much like the last version, the cushion is also the same. So what we've got is a full length boom midsole. Boom is kind of an ETPU. So that stuff is super bouncy. It's very plush, very soft. They do have it completely caged or surrounded by TPU. It's more of a rubbery feeling TPU, so it's not like a hard plastic or anything. So it does allow the material to expand and contract, but not to the point to where it's going to be like unstable or anything like that, especially with how low you actually sit with these. So this gives you a lot of cushion, a lot of impact protection, and a lot of court feel all at the same time. So it's really rare that you get something quite like this all in one package, but you know, the Wade brand has been doing it for a while, at least with the All City line, and uh, nothing's different here. Something that I love though is all the support features. Again, something that you won't see in, I mean, damn near any Nike. Le LeBron doesn't even got one. It's got a little plastic like rectangle shank. This guy right here doesn't have just one shank. It's got two, one of which is extremely tough. It's a top loaded one. It's underneath the insole and it's just a beefcake of a torsion plate. And then just in case that wasn't enough, they do add a TPU one right there on the bottom that's sandwiched between the rubber outsole and the boom midsole. Just in case you were wondering, this is the insole. Nothing really special, completely removable. There's not even any glue on there. So you could actually try this insole out and see if it works for you and then take it out and remove it or replace it with anything that you'd like after you've already tried it out and everything like that. So that's one of the good things again about this is that like some shoes, they're already like glued. You could pull them out sometimes. Other times though, as soon as you start to heat up that glue, it really does bond and it makes it almost impossible to remove unless you use a hair dryer to heat the glue back up and yank it out. So having something like that, that you can actually try out and see if you like it before you swap it out, I think is a good move as well. The upper itself is a, a basic textile, but it's a really interesting like use of it. So the first thing that I think of when I see it, at least this exterior side, is the GT Cut 2s. It's damn near the same look. It's damn near the same material. They call it a TPEE -E material. So that is a thermo, hold on, let me. Thermoplastic elastic. Yes. Really? Well, <laughs> sort of, yeah, it's a, thermoplastic polyester elastomer. So that's like what's in here. It's it's a thermoplastic plus the the uh, polyester. So it makes it more flexible and it also makes it like easier for moisture to escape it and stuff. So if you were to look at, I, I doubt my camera is going to be able to pick it up, at least not in video form and in, in images, maybe, maybe I'll take a pic and you could just see it. But if you really look in there, it's just like tiny little like plastic fibers and stuff, which is really interesting. Again, it's not my favorite.
favorite thing, but performance-wise, it gets the job done and it does it really well. So, you know, you can't knock it. It's when it feels plasticky that I absolutely hate it. This type of stuff doesn't feel plasticky. The GT Cut 2 doesn't feel plasticky. You know what I mean? Like it feels like you're wearing a textile, but it's a supportive one. The lacing is a little weird though, even though it's awkward for no reason. Like it's not like it's asymmetrical so it can tighten up this area of the foot and then roll over. It just is weird looking. Also, you have these two little uh, Wade logos right there at the midfoot and everything. Be careful with those. They can pinch your feet and cut off circulation a little bit. The tongue is fairly thick, but I'd still be wary of that, especially with how they close up like that. I do think it's cool though that when you put them together, it makes the Wade logo. <gasps> Reminds me of Allen Iverson. The answer once. When you would tighten up the enclosure and then boom, the Reebok logo's there. And then just in case you didn't notice it, the heel counter thing is huge. They really just exaggerated this thing. And I really like these things. Usually this one, I will say a little too much. Like got hit by that shrink ray, but the opposite way. From a honey I shrunk the kids, the second one. What was that called? Oops, I blew up the kid or something yeah. like that. So yeah. I blew up the baby. Good movie. Now, just in case you forgot earlier, you can find these now over at waveway.com. <laughs> I still think that's the weirdest thing I've ever seen on the shoe, and I've seen some weird shit. And the retail price is 150 bucks. You can check them out down below in the description box. There's gonna be a link, it'll direct you over to their website just in case you were interested. For sizing advice, I would go true to size, especially for most people. However, if you are a wide footer, this is the part that I think is also interesting. If you're a wide footer, they may be a little snug for you. And that's strange saying that because it's a Chinese brand and normally they accommodate for that. So uh, just keep that in mind. But again, this shoe is just like, if you like a Kyrie, but you get mad that there's no torsion plates or not enough cushion or whatever, this remedies that. It gives you all the stuff that you want out of a Kyrie, that rounded outsole, that smooth transition, the, the rubber that wraps up the side, all of that kind of stuff. But again, it gives you tons of torsional support. It gives you full length cushion. It gives you a durable material that is pretty much just like the other Kyries, you know what I mean? So really you got nothing to lose. All I hear in the comments is just people like being like, uh, F Nike, F this, F that, F this brand, F that brand. There is stuff out there, man. There is stuff out there. You gotta wanna support it though. But with that being said, sound off below and let us know what you think about these in the comment section. Did you try the V1? Or I don't know if they're even called that. They're just called the Wade All City 11s. If you tried the original 11s, All City 11s, sorry. Sound off below and let us know what you thought about them in the comment section. And if you've actually tried these out already, I'd also like to know your thoughts. If you tried both, just confirm it for me. There is no difference outside of that price. You can get those other ones for like 80 something bucks now. It's pretty good. Shut up and take my money. I bet you can get them at the link down below as well. Uh, or the link on the back of the shoe. <laughs> Touche. But thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We will catch you all on the next one. So until then, have a good one. Like what happened to just wanting to hoop, bust someone's ass and get a bucket, break an ankle in the best shoe that you could get for the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know when that changed. Was it MJ? Did he do that? No Mars. You know who didn't do that? Iverson. Iverson made everybody want that sh and people call them things boo boo and ugly now. But back then everybody wanted them things. I'm telling you, the commercials was everything. They made you believe that you could do this weird ass carry behind the back an awkward crossover. I don't even know what to call it. And I was just catching up to the crossover. But yeah, it was awesome.